This is calculator question number 21 from the January 2017 SAT, which is also practice test 8 from the 2018 version of the College Board prep book. College Board gives us an equation describing this graph, where we have points and a line of best fit. Line of best fit is y equals 3.39x plus 46.89. To answer the question, we need to know the context. This is the amount of plastic produced in the United States in billions of pounds per year from 1985 to 2003, where the x-axis, the horizontal axis, is number of years since 1985, and the y-axis, the vertical axis, is amount of plastic produced per year in billions of pounds. And the question is, which is the best interpretation of the number 3.39 in the context of the problem. 3.39 is the slope, 46.89 is the y-intercept. Choice A is the amount of plastic in billions of pounds produced in the year 1985. But 1985 is zero years since 1985, so that would be the y-intercept. Choice A should be 46.89, but they're asking about the 3.39, so A is not correct. Choice B, number of years it took to be the United States to produce one billion pounds of plastic. In this graph, we produce a billion pounds every year. So that would not be correct. We produce way over a billion pounds per year. Choice C, average annual plastic production in billions of pounds in the United States from 1985 to 2003. Again, our average is way over 3.39 billion. Our average looks somewhere around 80 billion pounds of plastic per year, so that would not be correct. It has to be choice D, because we've ruled everything out. LSAT, 3.39, if you remember, is the slope, which is how much Y goes up when X goes up by 1. Y is plastic production in billions of pounds. X is years since 1985. So. 3.39 is the number of additional billions of pounds produced in the United States each additional year. And D says average annual increase in billions of pounds of plastic produced in, per year in the United States from 1985 to 2003. So that is a good description of slope. And 3.39 is the slope in the context of the problem. So the answer would be D. College Board always asks you to interpret the slope or y-intercept or both in context Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.